Baby, don't worry Go and get some sleep Why you always in a hurry? He got bigger things planned for you Don't worry You ain't gotta come to conclusions this early Don't worry Baby, don't worry Hi, and thank you for tuning in So in today's video, I'll share some tips about establishing meaningful connections When you're establishing meaningful connections You're thinking about how am I engaging with someone and will this be a long-term connection or a short-term connection? And you're also thinking about how will myself and the other party that's involved benefit from this relationship in the short term and long term. One way to begin by establishing a short-term relationship is to consider what type of environment and how can I show respect toward this person each time that I come. So aside from respect, another component of a meaningful connection is consistency. And you can think of a meaningful connection, whether it's in a professional environment or a personal environment. And consistency can be you're emailing that person on a regular basis to talk to them about information pertaining to the workspace, or you're just in touch with them just because to see how they're doing and then when you need them for something that's beneficial, then you've already established that rapport where you've been in touch with them on a regular basis and not just in the instance that you need them for a letter of recommendation or something along those lines. So you're consistently in touch with them when you need them as well as when you don't need them. Um, another way to establish a meaningful connection is to think about how the other person can benefit from knowing you. So are there resources that you can provide to this person? Um, in a supervisor and an employee relationship, you're thinking about, am I being the strongest employee, not only for my own reputation, but am I supportive to my manager or supervisor in the event that I did leave this work environment, or if I needed something within the work environment, would they be willing to assist and support me? So have you been a valuable employee? Have you been a consistent employee? And have you been a employee that can be relied on? So in the event that you're being recognized for an award, what good things could your supervisor or manager say on your behalf? Or the, in the event that you need a recommendation for a community engagement thing that you'd like to do, if you were to ask your supervisor if they would recommend you, what could they speak well about in regards to your character and your behavior? So again, just establishing a meaningful connection and thinking long-term and not always in the here and now. Another way to establish a meaningful connection is to pose questions to that person so you're learning more about them and as well sharing more about yourself. So um, for myself, when I'm meeting someone that I may see as a potential mentor or just a networking person, I'm asking them, what inspired you to work in your current field and where do you see yourself within the next year? And likewise, I'll share information about myself, about my career goals and my career path and things of that nature. So a meaningful connection is a person that you also feel like you can just be yourself around and let down with and open up to. And you're comfortable with sharing sometimes personal details about your goals and aspirations, as well as learning more about them. And then when will this person be useful for you? That can all depend. So again, if you needed something written from a professional standpoint, or if you needed advice from a professional standpoint. So for myself, as a writer and someone that works within the healthcare field, I think about if I'm working on a particular piece of writing, who have I established a meaningful connection with that can be a mentor and guide me with my writing goals and working in the healthcare field as a healthcare employee, being in the field and continuing to learn new things, who have I established a meaningful connection with that I can go to and say, can you help me understand this information or can you point me in the right direction for this contact? So again, a meaningful connection is someone that you can benefit from with a short-term or long-term relationship. And it's a mutual connection where you're not only taking from that person information or valuable feedback, but you can provide them helpful information and valuable feedback as well. And those are the tips and recommendations that I have for establishing meaningful connections. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.